Hi, it's Dwyer. Keepingitfree.blogspot.com, gamblersadvisory.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about a couple of investment ideas. But I'm not telling you how to invest. I'm just telling you what I'm thinking about as an investor. You should rely on your own judgment in making your investment decisions. Now, the state of California where I live is about to legalize marijuana. The market is huge, right? It is so big that merchants paid more than $80 billion in cash-related fees in terms of handling their transactions as traditional banks are hesitant to get involved with marijuana producers in part because of gaps between state law, like the state law here in California, and federal law in Washington, D.C. that criminalizes marijuana. So, you have a huge market paying huge transaction processing fees. That is perfect for cryptocurrency, right? Cryptocurrency should be able to enter this market and to charge lower transaction fees and to give marijuana producers the opportunity right to do banking without dealing with traditional banks now let me just say that I personally believe that in a market like marijuana growing and uh, cannabis distribution as you can imagine both investors and customers might want some level of privacy, right? You might be a uh, person looking at markets who believes in people's rights to control their own bodies, who might support, you know, California's legalization of marijuana, whether or not you're a user. And you might feel that there is a huge profit potential and that you need to be part of this legal market in the state, right? Or you might be a user who might be using marijuana for whatever reason, recreational, maybe to treat your glaucoma, etc. But you might want to do so privately, right? You might not want, you know, a co-worker or a boss to know that from time to time you use marijuana because that might lead to certain conclusions that, you know, uh, mistakes you've made on the job or drug related or something like that, right? So understand that privacy might be an issue for marijuana investors as well as marijuana customers. In my opinion, the cryptocurrency and its market cap is now in the top 100 according to coinmarketcap.com, a site you need to look at. In fact, I hope you check with that site to confirm the veracity of the numbers I'm about to give you. Right, to me, the cryptocurrency called Potcoin deprives you of some of that privacy simply by its name. Right, if you have a child and you have on a home computer a wallet that houses potcoin and your kid comes across the potcoin wallet what would that kid think might that kid think that daddy has some potcoin because daddy endorses the use of marijuana right don't you lose the anonymity simply by having pot coin. If you were to tell a friend, yes, you know, I hold some pot coins, would that friend be unreasonable to think that you're either an investor in marijuana, right? A cash crop so dicey that traditional banks don't want to touch it, right? Or that you're a user in marijuana, Right? When you might have some teenagers who you don't want using marijuana until they're at least old enough to vote. 
So to me, as an investor, the name Potcoin gives me pause. That name might have been great as a marketing tool, you know, to raise funds for an ICO with, you know, hipsters who might think, hey, great, Potcoin, I know what that's about. But understand, knowing what that's about might deprive you, the investor, of privacy. But my biggest goat with Potcoin, and keep in mind, I'm someone who believes the marijuana market is underserved, certainly by legacy finance. Right? The uh, biggest problem I have with Potcoin are the number of Potcoin already in circulation. Right, just to understand that Bitcoin is the granddaddy of cryptocurrency. Right? There are currently 16.7 Bitcoin in circulation. Now, as someone who really values supply and demand, I'm hesitant to invest in coins that have too many coins in circulation. Right, because to me, if you flood the market with coins, and keep in mind, we're talking about digital currency. Theoretically, there could be no end in sight. Right, the supplier could mint as many coins as they want. It's a fiat currency. It's only the limits placed on the supply by the supplier that limit the amount in circulation. So just to understand, Bitcoin has 16.7 million coins currently in circulation, right? Dash has less than 8 million coins in circulation. Dash only has 7.7 .7 million coins in circulation. But yet Potcoin, a newer coin, a coin that has just cracked the top 100 in market cap, right, for cryptocurrencies, already has more than 218 million coins in circulation. I don't like it. You know, what this tells you is that if the market cap of Potcoin ever were to get to 218 million, the value of your one pot coin would be one dollar, right? One dollar. So to me, there are too many pot coins out there. But more importantly, there are other coins, in my opinion, that provide you with greater privacy that are already serving marijuana producers. Right now, full disclosure, I own some Dash. Understand I own a few cryptocurrencies, right? One of them is Dash. Dash is my favorite cryptocurrency. Full disclosure, right? I'm a Dash holder. I'm biased. I'm not pretending to be anything other than biased. But just to understand that first off, Dash has privacy features that Potcoin doesn't have, right? You can use the private send feature on Dash, which provides for coin mixing. So someone looking at the blockchain wouldn't be able to tell who you sent your coins to. So if you're an investor, or if you're a customer of the marijuana industry, let's just say that Dash is privacy features far exceed Potcoin, where first of all, someone knows you're holding Potcoin. Second of all, someone could look on the blockchain and figure out your Potcoin transactions. With Dash, they can't do that. More importantly, though, Dash already has a relationship with a financial transaction processor, Alt36. What I want you to do is to look up Alt-36. You'll find out that Alt-36 already has a relationship with Cantrade. They're already actively involved in helping marijuana suppliers financially process their transactions. 
and you'll find out that Dash actually has an agreement with Alt 36, right? Go to alt36.com. It'll tell you about the company. If you want to hear about their involvement in the marijuana market, go to alt36.com slash, I believe it's cannabis, right? Well, just understand that Alt 36 has an agreement with Dash where they're going to use Dash as a method of payment in their processing of transactions with marijuana merchants, right? So Dash is set to profit. They're very well positioned. The agreement with Alt36.com is a multi-year agreement, right? They're very well positioned to profit from the burgeoning, rapidly growing marijuana market. But with Dash, right, you get a coin that's in the top 10 in terms of market caps for cryptocurrencies that has, in my opinion, the best governance for a cryptocurrency. I want you to just Google governance and Dash. You're going to find out that Dash is far ahead of Bitcoin in its ability to do things like vote on the size of its block size, right? In its ability and its budget to vote on proposals by third parties, right? Like all 36 to move into new markets, to make adjustments in existing markets. Dash also has a master node structure where people can profit off of participating in Dash's governance, right? So you're getting a governance structure that's far beyond Potcoin. You're getting privacy features that are far beyond Potcoin. You're getting the confidentiality that comes in using a coin that's not called pot coin, right? That teenager at home who likes to be around your laptop, if they see you with a Dash wallet, they're not going to jump to the same conclusions that they might if they see you with a pot coin wallet, right? So in my opinion, Dash, which currently has a market cap, north of five and a half billion dollars, which has a circulating supply that at 7.7 .7 million is more than 200 million less than Potcoin, to me, as a Dash holder, is simply the better play here for investors and for customers in the marijuana market over pot coin. That's how I see it. I am sure there are investors using pot coin who might want to be heard in the comment section of this video. I encourage you to leave your thoughts. But what I want cryptocurrency customers in general to think about is the circulating supply of your coin. I mean, understand if your coin is new and already has a circulating supply north of 200 million, then how valuable is any one coin ever going to be, right? Ideally, don't you want your cryptocurrency to have a limited supply of coins so the coins themselves retain value. Isn't that one of the big selling points of Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Gold, right? Even Litecoin has an $84 million limit. Potcoin is already more than 200% of that, right? So my recommendation here, well, we'll put it this way. I strongly prefer Dash to Potcoin. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.